good morning. I dropped my sewing machine off a couple of weeks ago and I just wanted to check to see if it was ready to be picked up. Yeah. Oh, so it's not ready yet? No, we're waiting for the part. Oh, okay, because someone called and said that the part was there and that it would be a little less than the time that he initially told me it would be. But, okay. So we're still waiting on that part. <sighs> so, the day after I dropped my machine off for repair, a guy called and said, oh, your part is here, so it won't take as long. So now I call and the guy says, we're waiting on a part. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll get my machine back one of these days. So I am sitting outside of Joanne's. I just got back in the car and I just wanted to sh share with you all three patterns that I picked up. So the fall patterns are finally out, yay. I only had three that I wanted. So the first one that I, got, that I picked up was McCall's 8110, and that's what that looks like. I really like the neckline on C for the top, so I can see making that bodice and maybe adding it to another garment or either lengthening it and making it like just wearing it as a top without the skirt. So I love that neckline. And then the next one that I got is McCall's 8138. This kind of reminds me of the dress that I'm wearing here. What I like about it is that it has an exposed zipper. I've never sewn an exposed zipper, so I wanted to follow the directions and give this one a try. So it seems pretty simple, but just wanted to try it because I've never done it before. And then the last one that I got is McCall's 8153, and I love a jumpsuit, and so I'm really interested in this view here. So yes, these are the three patterns that I will be adding to my collection of patterns because I have a lot. <laughs> All right, so we are out running errands and we are about to drop off some things at Goodwill. We have all these bags and a couple of things in the back that we want for breakfast we are at a place called poached neighborhood kitchen never been here before so I'm gonna check out the menu and see what I want to eat I am out and about and I wanted to stop and tell you about this top that I'm wearing or it's more like a shirt and I actually forgot all of my little notes so I am just going to have to wing it so if there's anything that I forget I will somehow find a way to add it in or pop it up on the screen for you so this is a vintage pattern it is if I recall right simplicity 6414 it is a pattern that came out in the 80s and this pattern has a lot going on. So some of the details, there are darts in the front and the back waist area. There is what's called a French cuff on the sleeve, which required a continuous lap. And I had to look that up because I didn't know what that was. Um, and I will actually link a video showing what I used or the video that I watch that helped me get the continuous lap applied to the shirt so there are also buttons here to close these the, the cuff so it has a collar and then there's a pocket somewhere <laughs> there's a pocket right here on the front then there's buttons down the front and I'm trying to remember if there are any other details I don't think so yeah, I think that's it. I said that it, that it was a lot going on, so I don't know if I'm... Oh, I know. There are pleats. There are pleats down here at the sleeve, and then there's pleats also in the shoulder area, which kind of give the sleeve a little puffy look. So I like that. 
and the picture that I saw I thought the sleeves would actually come out a little more puffy but they're just like slightly puffy and I still like it now this fabric is just 100% cotton denim that I purchased from Joann Fabrics and I think that's it I think I got everything now let me mention some of the changes that I made I did not add a button to the top collar I also changed the buttonholes so let me see what the buttonholes are vertical I put them in vertically but the pattern called for them to go horizontally so I changed that and I think that's all if I remember right yeah so I like it and I will show you what it looks like on so you can actually see the full length of the top So that's my top now I did want to just give an update on my sewing machine so I received a call the day after I called in to check on my machine I got a call the next day saying that my machine was ready so I'm so excited to have my machine back at home yes and it did take approximately I would say about two and a half to three weeks so it wasn't quite four weeks so yeah just a little shy of four weeks so I'm happy to have that back. Okay, now I want to leave you with a love share. Now this is really, really interesting. I think I say that a lot, right? Okay, but this one for real, it is. All right. Okay, when wanting to get rid of small animals such as raccoon, deer, groundhogs, rats, things like that, there is a natural animal repellent and it is actually coyote urine yes coyote urine <laughs> I cannot believe it so the urine the smell of the urine is used to scare small animals away and the coyote urine is actually sold at most local home improvement stores yep it is I cannot believe it I thought that that was so interesting coyote urine like for real 